guys are gonna win this board well one of you guys is and we're gonna figure out how so stay tuned and watch the video to the end hey hey what i'm trying to do something here yeah i gotta welcome people to the channel and let them know what's going on i'm here at the Houston storytellers club headquarters and i'm here with jay olson and we're going to skate his ramp today and we're going to sit down and learn how yusa came about and how that whole thing came about look at all there's my board up on the wall yeah so you guys hang tight and we're just going to be skateboarding and we're going to talk about yusa see ya Hey, what's happening? It's Jay from Usta. Uh, stay tuned to the end of this video for your chance to win this unreleased Chris Weddle colorway board here, the Psychic Sasquatch. I'm gonna print it up for you right now. So if you win this board, this is it being printed right now. So I'm sitting here with Jay Olson, Jason Olson of Youth to Skateboards. Him and I have been friends for a while, and this is our first take on this, so we're gonna get it right now. Well, you know uh, they say four times the charm. Yep, four yeah. times better than three. Um, <laughs> so I'm here to find out just how Youth to started. So Jay, tell me how all this came about. All right, Youth to. So the 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 name Youth to is actually from. Um, was uh, from my from our friend Nathan Obi Baker. Right. He uh, we were in Southern Idaho down there doing some uh, skateboard stuff for the skate park in Coeur d'Alene, and we're driving around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is the toast <laughs> ready? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Uh, so we're driving around. Uh, thanks. Yeah, it's super crispy. Happy uh, toast. <laughs> yeah. with flat. Smoking, smoking toast. Oh, yeah. uh, so we're driving around uh, Boise, and he made some remark of going, "Hey man, we used to skate," and he was like, "Oh, you know, it'd be cool to have a skateboard company called Used to Skate." And I thought, oh, "That is pretty brilliant, man." Well, you always come up with all these odd names when you're driving or whatever. He's like thinking. Well, and like, you know, just part of the skateboard culture is like, you know, it's like, the, it's just built in like entrepreneurship and just like this like innovative kind of mindset. I mean, how many millions of, you know, your name here, skateboards do you see right. nowadays? I mean, you name it, you know, lawnmower skateboards, uh, chair skateboards, on and on and on and on and on, on yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So we thought Houston was pretty, pretty fun and witty. Um, so ran with that. And uh, yeah, just hats off to Nathan Baker for for really, you know, planting that seed, the original seed. And this was all, listen, Coeur d'Alene Skate Park's been around, what, five years now? -ish? 2018, yeah, that's when it first went in. And that's about when you got this, because I remember when our park in Sandpoint got going, that's when I opened up my shop, with ran with the momentum and all that. Sure. And that's kind of um, what you did with Houston. Once the park was going, you're like, yeah. I need to keep this momentum going. I want to keep my feet going. Yeah, yeah, you know, really kind of speak to that a little bit. You know, it was it was really of, you know, I spent just a monumental amount of time getting that skate park uh, in there. You know, there was a lot of people that, that rallied for that skate park. A lot of people with the city, a lot of, you know, locals Years. that were skateboard advocates, all this. We had to do like a rebranding of how that community has seen skateboarding and skateboarders as a whole, which was a, a thing. Um, so I spent a lot of time and energy utilizing my skills as a marketer and advertiser to, to make that happen. Um, so when it was done, I kind of just had this like, you know, there was like this empty spot in my life. And I was like, well, what do I, what yeah. do, I do now, man? Like, what is it, you know? And I've always loved skateboarding. Skateboarding is like part of my thing, um, you know, cultural lifestyle kind of thing, you know? So I was like, well, let's, uh, I'll start a skateboard company. Let's do that because I've always wanted to just be able to make graphics of zany shit that I think. Yeah, because you know. you're by trade a graphic designer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and that was that was the big the big push to do that. Really being able to highlight and showcase uh, guys that I really appreciate their style and uh, and their ability. Not like this toast. This is not the most startling. <laughs> Guys, got those with black. All right, cool. All right. Um, 
So, and your riders, I've noticed some of your riders are around town, locals here. You got a couple from around the nation and keeping the, getting the brand national yeah. going that way yeah. rather than just keeping it local. Yeah. Um, now it's getting more national and you've got some, some big names riding with you. Yeah, okay. You said you were mentioning you had a guy from East Coast. I think you said something about Florida. Uh, yeah, no Florida, but um, you know, as far as kind of speaking to the the national thing, the reason that you know I think this that used is perceived as like a bigger thing um, is because I'm based here in in the Northwest, but my business partner Jake Hated. Make sure you check him out, Jake the Hated, on Instagram. Great photographer. Um, known him forever since he was a little kid. You know, we're little kids skateboarding together. Um, he was he, he hopped on board with me and right from the infancy of starting Usta and um, developed Usta as a brand down there as well, you know, and just being involved with the community right. and um, you know, sponsoring guys and doing all that kind of stuff. So it was just really, you know, that's that's a big part of the perception of it being a national brand. I also have a writer, uh, Ricky Maltabano, and he's over in uh, Long Island, New York. And he's super good, just a great skater. Yeah. He's like later 20s, um, street guy, like just on it, man, you know. And I shouldn't say street guy because I've seen him lately, man. He's been crushing some transitions here. So, you know, shout out to that, dude. I see you and it's rad. All around. Yeah, doing all the things. Um, so those were the, you know, that's, I think that's where you get that, that per perception of it being a national brand. But that is the intent, is to make it more of a national brand. Right, yeah. right. So you're doing a freaky job with that. Um, and so with that board we're giving away, this Chris Weddle, being that some of the people we have, or he has riding, he's one of our local big names, now living in Cami. I met him years ago at the Missoula grand opening. Oh. And Jay has gone on to meet him as well and brought him on board. Um, why don't you tell us a little yeah. bit about Chris and how you came about bringing his board in? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, I heard, um, you know, I heard, hey, there's this legend that lives in, like, you know, in southern Idaho, you know, he, like, lives south of Coeur d'Alene, you know, like, he's the guy that invented the, you know, at the time it was called the mute grab, you know, and, and I was thinking, whoa, man, like, it's like this mystical legend in the mountains, you know? <laughs> right. Not, not unlike a Sasquatch, you know? Um, our skaters up here, we're, we're all spread out, and we are. you know, and uh, yeah, you hear of this, you're like, oh, well, I've never met him, never seen him. Yeah. Oh, Matt's met him over in Missoula. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, for reals, man. And it's, you know, and it's a different vibe, man. You know, I mean, living here in the Northwest where we're at, you know, it is. It's very much where, you know, we're, we're kind of few and far between. Right. The older you get, the more few and far between you become. Um, it's not so uh, readily uh, available and it's not like this huge major culture like it is in California, yep. Florida and this kind of stuff. So I think that says something to guys that are still doing it, yeah. that you're genuinely doing it because you love to do it, you know what I mean? And, right, um, it's I, the only reason why we're still doing it now. Exactly, man, for some crazy ass reason we like kicking our own Because it hurts. Yeah, yeah but, but man, it's better than going to the gym, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, so, so with Chris, you know, we started uh, rapping on social media and all that, you know, and I uh, I started my brand and I, and I just hit him up immediately. I was like, hey man, Chris, I would love for you to ride for us, man. Like be our, be our legacy rider, you know, be our dude, you know. Um, so of course he was just totally into it. That's awesome. And, uh, That's he, great that he came on board like that. He's amazing, yeah. And him, he is him, a good guy too. Him and, and Candy, they're just great people. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. You know, you you bond through skateboarding, and then it, and then at a certain right. point, it feels like a it's like a brotherhood and like a family. Yeah. You know, and that's how I feel with you. Right. And that's how I feel with you know with Chris. And it's just it's just a cool thing, man. We just share the fact that we like to kick our own ass. It's a worldwide thing. Yeah. I've got friends around the world yeah. from skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. And man. that's all, the only thing skateboarding. That's our only tie. Yeah. But yet. You know, it'll be 30 years like well, since I seen Klaus and I see him in Spokane. He's all, dude, look at that. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. It's wild. Um, so yeah, that's the story with Chris. Now, you've got these other boards here that I want to talk about. Sure. These are uh, limited edition. Yeah, 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 absolutely. These are limited edition. Most people want more, probably want more. Um, this is, these boards are a bit of a tribute to the late Ted Terrebonne. Uh, Ted was an iconic photographer 
back in the 70s, 80s, and even in the 90s and stuff, but really, really a lot of his work happened um, 70s and 80s. He worked for Skateboarder Magazine, I think he worked for Juice Magazine, um, and at the time, uh, that was the way that you made it. That was the way that skateboarders were right. known. You know? That was our only media. Yeah, he was he was vitally important to the guys out there that were trying to make a, a name for themselves. Oh, yeah. Out there, you know, get some exposure. Yeah. This was the gatekeeper to that. You had to be media. in good with the photographers where they wanted to take pictures of you. Yeah. Either because you had that style, charisma, something, yeah. the tricks, and you weren't a dick. Yeah, that's at least most deal. of the time. Although, you know, Dwayne Peters, he was a dick. Well, but there's a lot of great photos of Dwayne Peters. Dwayne Peters a punk rocker dick. Yeah, you know, you know? know what I mean? So maybe it's true to the core, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. It's a whole other interview. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was rad. Like, I was able to go and interview these guys uh, that will hopefully include this in, you know, in the link. That's right. There will be links for these interviews. Yeah. Um, you know, Cab talking about this this trick and his, his experience with Ted was just, it was really an awesome story that, that he shared with us, you know, I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and, and discover that if you want. Um, Christian as well, um, yeah, he was just super cool to talk to, man, like him sharing the stories about how Ted was a, was a big deal in his his legacy and his journey, um, telling some stories about the, the Bible Bowl here and, and sharing those moments with, with Ted, uh, just really cool stuff, man, so, um, I, I'm not gonna spoiler alert any of this kind of stuff. I'm no. gonna let you guys figure We're gonna it out. leave, uh, I'll have links in the description for usetobrand.com and I'll have links for his YouTube channel where you can see these interviews and watch them for yourself exactly. and get a feel for them because we, you know we all love these guys. They're both great guys. I've met and skated with both of them Icons, uh, once or man. twice. And, yeah. You know, all three, of the, all, all three of these guys. I mean, Chris you know, Weddle. You know your history. That's right. All three of these guys. These guys have, like, you know, they've, they've defined a lot of what skateboarding yeah. is. Yeah. You got to you know? thank Chris Weddle for yeah. uh, everything he's done, just bringing that one trick into our realm. It's, you know, you got Japan Air from it, you got everything else, and the 500. Yep. That wouldn't be, a, yeah. well, maybe it might be possible with a different grab, but. You never know. I think I think I've seen like maybe a three-year-old nowadays doing a back. Oh back. my god, know. dude, it's crazy! You kids out there, yeah. what are you doing? You're supposed yeah. to hang up on that stuff. Yeah, You're doing yeah, these yeah. fakey rocks, and your front trucks are banging. I don't care. So, yeah. anyways, yeah. hey, if you guys have made it this far, we're gonna give this board away. Remember, we talked about that earlier. So this board's being given away. You've got to leave a comment. First one to leave a comment on how used it came about. What was the story? How? What were the roots of USA? How did it start? Where'd the name come from? First one to leave a comment with the correct answer, I will send this board to you. So after I send it to you, snap a picture, send it back to me. That way we can show everyone what we're doing here. So this Perfect. is the first Tyree Skate Rat giveaway. We'll try to keep it going if this channel explodes. You never know what'll happen in Thailand. So yeah. want to throw a couple things in here too. You know, Matt, I just wanted to thank you, brother. For, yeah. for everything that you've done for skateboarding locally. And just a quick story here before we wrap it up. I know we're in this wrap up mode. But uh, when I first moved up here in 1997, I started asking around, who skates around here? Who's skating really? stuff? And it was always this Matt Splat. Oh, this dude, Matt Splat. Oh, you gotta meet Matt Splat. So you were, you're definitely an icon in our- Bro, in our that's community, right. Man. So I appreciate you, brother. Big that's guy. cool, man. Yep. That's cool. Fuck yep. it, hey. Yeah, yeah, check me out on the Gold Wings Molecules of Motion video too. Now that was the start of it. Yeah, it's on VHS. You can find it on YouTube. In fact, it's on my channel. Yeah. Go, I got the clip for it, so check that share, one out. Share the link. Yeah, it'll be on there. It'll go into my, <laughs> say, what is it? It's on the playlist. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, thanks again. If you like it, subscribe, like the channel, share it. I'd be super stoked. Um, it's truly right there.